Hey there, Q here, and welcome to Shark Week 2021, Day 6. Guys, it's getting closer to the end, and um, I've been having a blast. I really have been. I've been really uh, enjoying these films. Uh, one, not so much, but the rest, not so bad, actually. Um, maybe I was just a little too harsh on The Shark Exorcist. I will go back and try to watch it again, but I just I could not get into it. But either way, guys, um, <clears throat> as you can tell from the title and the picture, it is going to be Jurassic Shark. Now, Jurassic Shark is a 2012 film. It is directed by Brett Kelly, who produces the next film I'm going to review tomorrow on the final day of Shark Week, which is pretty cool. And um, the actors in this, and I do apologize if I butcher names here, guys, because... You know me by now, if you've been watching me, I'm really bad at pronunciations, and, uh, God, I hope I get these right. All right, uh, Christine Eames plays Tia, Emmanuel Carreri plays Jill, Celine Fillion plays Christine, Angela Parent plays Barb, and, uh, she's, uh, I, I like, I, I like Angela Parent. She, she, she played, she was good in this. She played her part well, I should say. Uh, Kevin Priest plays Jerry. Phil Dukarski plays Doug. Kyle Martellassi plays Mike. Uh, Mike doesn't have a very big role, but at least he's in the film. Uh, Joshua Gilbert uh, Crosby plays Jack. Jurgen Volrath plays Dr. Lincoln Grant. Um, Kala Gray plays Brittany. Jody Huck plays the chairman and um, actually named off everyone. So the music score is pretty decent in this one, guys. Uh, I really like the beginning music score. It really got me into wanting to see the film from the beginning, and I like that. Uh, the overview is basically spot on, so I will go with that. Um, when an oil company unwillingly unleashes a prehistoric shark from its icy prison, the Jurassic Killer maroons a group of thieves and beautiful young female college students on an abandoned island. And basically that's what it is. But um, obviously anybody can poke holes in this. Uh, they're basically on a lake, uh, not an ocean, and it looked like a closed off lake, not even an open lake. Um, just uh, it was weird to see uh, this is supposed to be a megalodon shark in a very small, shallow lake water, because megalodons are huge, you know what I mean? And what I seen in this film was just plain old, silly fun, guys, and I actually enjoyed it. Um, I really like the looks of the shark in this one. I thought the shark looked a lot like the shark from Back to the Future 2, the Jaws 19 scene with the holographic shark coming out there, and he's like, the shark still looks fake. That's what the shark looked like to me, and kudos to that, because... <laughs> It really brought me back to the Back to the Future 2 film. Um, the kills were actually kind of fun in this one, guys. Uh, I like the idea of them and just the munching of the shark. I just, I don't know what it is, but the munching of the shark, I just find that interesting. Uh, my dislikes is uh, right near the end of the film, guys. I only have one really major nitpick with this. I know I could nitpick the whole thing, but it's a low-budget film. And, you know, I would love to do what they can do and have people watch my stuff. I, I would love it. I really would. But um, I don't, so I can't. And uh, either way, guys, what kind of bugged me was at the end, they were throwing dynamite at the shark. And most of the time, I believe it was like four, they were four dynamite sticks in, and you still didn't hear no explosions. Only once, I believe, did you hear the explosion. And that was like after the fifth or sixth dynamite ex exploded. So, you know, you... They would throw the dynamite, then all of a sudden the actors would react to the explosion, but you don't hear nothing on the screen, which it was a, a bit of a fault there. Um, either way, other than that, guys, I really found myself enjoying this one. I thought it was pretty fun to watch, and the storyline was interesting. I actually kind of liked the storyline. Um, that's going to be the end of this review, though, guys. Uh, I don't want to spoil the movie because there could be major spoilers in it. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Wild Eye Releasing for releasing such awesome films and helping the little guy get known. 
Uh, that is awesome to Wild Eye and kudos to Wild Eye releasing. Uh, make sure to check out everyone doing Shark Week. Uh, they're picking some awesome reviews, guys. Not just uh, Wild Eye movies, but they're picking some actual shark films. So go check them out. And um, you're, you're going to like what they pick, guys, because they do some amazing reviews and blows me away. So thanks to everybody for doing that. And um, looking forward to more of your videos. Um, <clears throat> also, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time, and uh, of course, there's going to be a trailer at the end of this video. You all take care. Ciao. Unleashed a predator we haven't seen 200 million years. <laughs>